primary friends. I'm so glad to see you. I wish I could see you in person. I miss you so very, very much. I love primary. Primary is the best. Let's review some of our songs so you can keep up at home and still remember everything when we finally get to come back together. Let's start out with the Iron Rod. Remember we used pencils with this song? You could maybe teach your family how to do the pencil actions. These are our rhythm sticks, so we're gonna like get down and get groovy to the iron rod. We start out with Nephi to Nephi Seer of olden time, because we're Nephi's growing up and we watch him grow up. A vision came from God, so we're going to make this circle. A vision came from God. We're in the, the holy word sublime. So we're talking about the scriptures here. And the, the scriptures are noble and majestic and grand. So they're sublime. So we're going to say, we're in the holy word sublime. Was shown an iron rod. Here's our iron rod. Was shown an iron rod. Now we're going to hold to the rod the iron rod and it's strong so it's strong it's bright and it's true so it's bright and it's true the iron rod is the word of god so we're back in the scriptures we're turning a big huge page and it will safely guide us through like an air traffic controller we're going to Guide us through with those scriptures. Okay, let's sing it. To Nephi seer of olden time, a vision came from God, where in the holy word sublime was shown the iron rod. Hold to the rod, the iron rod, tis strong and bright and true. Okay, now let's sing Nephi's Courage, one of my favorites and one of yours too. And we're going to start out with the Lord commanded Nephi to go and get the plates. That's the first verse in this story. It's kind of our story song. And then the second verse, the Lord commanded Nephi to go and build a boat. And then the third verse is when we relate this story to us. We think of, hmm, how does this apply in my life? So the Lord gives us commandments and asks us to obey. Okay, let's try it with our actions. And again, you can teach this to your family because it's super cool. Okay, here we go. We start out with the Lord. The Lord commanded Nephi to go and get the plates. Here we go. The Lord commanded Nephi to go and get the plates. From the wicked laven inside the city gates. Laman and him, you were both afraid to try. Nephi was courageous, this was his reply. I will go, I will do the thing the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way he wants me to obey. I will go, I will do the thing the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way he wants me to obey. So that was the first verse. Second verse, the Lord commanded Nephi to go and build a boat. The Lord commanded Nephi to go and build a boat. Nephi's older brothers believed it would not float. Laughing and mocking, they said he should not try. Nephi was courageous, this was his reply. I will go, I will do the thing the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way he wants me to obey. I will go, I will do the thing the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way he wants me to obey. Okay, third verse. The Lord gives us commandments. Here we go. The Lord 
gives us commandments and asks us to obey. Sometimes I am tempted to choose another way. When I'm discouraged and think I cannot try, I will be courageous and I will reply. I will go, I will do the thing the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way he wants me to obey. I will go, I will do the thing the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way he wants me to obey. So I had a companion on my mission, Sister Peacock. Hi, Sister Peacock, if you happen to be watching somehow. And Sister Peacock taught me about keeping the Sabbath day holy. When she was in school, she did not do homework on Sundays. She told me that her grandma taught her that. Her grandma taught her how to do some laundry and her grandma taught her about not doing homework on the Sabbath. Now I decided right then, when I got home, I was going to follow Sister Peacock's example and not do homework on the Sabbath. So I got home and I didn't do homework on the Sabbath and I got the best grades ever. But recently, I decided to sign up for a college class and I had this big assignment that I had to get done and I didn't think I'd have enough time to get it done. I had so many other things going on. But I remembered our primary song. I remembered Meet Buys Courage and I actually sang it to myself. I sang, I will go, I will do the thing the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way, wants me to obey. So I decided, okay, Heavenly Father, I said a prayer. I said, I'm going to keep the Sabbath day holy. Please help me to finish this big assignment, this big project that I have to do. And it's due by Tuesday, and I don't know how I'm going to get everything done. So Sunday went. I kept the Sabbath day. Monday came, and I woke up, and I had so much energy. I got this done, and that done, and the other thing done. I was a ball of fire, and I got everything done. And by Tuesday, I got my whole project done, and everything that was on my list. And I knew that it was Heavenly Father helping me to obey. And I had courage to do it, even though I wondered, how the heck am I going to do it? But Heavenly Father helped me, just like me by courage. So the next song we're going to review is A Child's Prayer, and this is one that we just started this month in March, and a lot of you already know it, and that's great. Um, this song, I remember I told you a story about, this is another mission story, um, this is me when I was young, yes it's true, I was once young, and a missionary in the Ukraine, and I told you a story about a woman named Maria who didn't know if there was a Heavenly Father. And she didn't know that she could talk to Heavenly Father through prayer. And during our discussion, I at that time was just learning Russian and I didn't understand any of the conversation. But then Heavenly Father helped me to understand when Maria was asking a question, or my companion asked the question and Maria answered, I don't know if there's a Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father helped me to answer her question and to testify to her that yes, we do have a Heavenly Father and He knows us and He loves us. And He knows Maria and He knows me and He knows all of you and we can pray to Him. So this song is very significant to me because I think of that woman and I think of sitting in her kitchen and how we all felt the Spirit so strongly. And I remember too how when I was telling this story in primary, I could really feel the Spirit strongly in the room. And I think all of us could. And that was Heavenly Father being there with us. So let's review this song and sing it. Hopefully we can sing it. Um, so we talked about how we can sing this song with rainbow fingers. So we can start up. Heavenly Father, are you really there? And do you hear and answer every child's prayer? And we try to do our rainbow fingers without stopping. Let's give it a try. Heavenly Father, 
Are you really there? And do you hear and answer every child's prayer? Some say that heaven is far away, but I feel it close around me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I remember now something that Jesus told disciples long ago. Suffer the children to come to me. Father, in prayer, I'm coming now to thee. That's the first verse. And when I asked, um, what does suffer mean? I had Andrew Rogers come up and we talked about what does suffer the children mean? And that means that Jesus said, let the children come to me. Jesus loves children. And he asked all the mommies and all the children to come to him and he blessed all of the children. So that is the child part of this song about Heavenly Father and praying. This is something that if you're with your family, maybe your parents can sing this part and you can sing together after they're all done. So this is answering the child. Pray, he is there. Speak, he is listening. You are his child. His love now surrounds you. And we're gonna go over here to this wall. He hears your prayer. He loves the children of such is the kingdom, the kingdom of hell. If you want to do it with actions, the second verse, here are a few suggestions. So for this one, you can do pray or pray. I kind of like to do this sometimes. So pray, he is there. Then speak, speak, he is listening. You are his child, his love now surrounds you. He hears your prayer. He loves the children of such is the kingdom the kingdom of hell our final song is the books in the book of mormon and this one is super fun because we have all these actions to help us to remember all of the books and hopefully you've been practicing this at home and maybe you've taught your family already that would be super cool and super awesome so let's just review. So we have first and second books of Nephi. Jacob, and we're doing this because Jacob was a preacher. He was teaching the people. Jacob, Enos, because Enos prayed. And then Jerem, Omni. Jerem is Omni's father. Words of Mormon, because they're super small. It's like one chapter. Words of Mormon and Mosiah, because Mosiah was a king. We're making a crown with our hands in the Book of Mormon. Then we have Alma. Alma was a missionary. Helaman was a judge. He's got his gavel there. Um, third, fourth, Nephi. Mormon. Mormon was a captain. He was in, in the army. Ether. We've got the um, Jaredites who go across the sea in that one. Ether and Moroni, the Moroni statue on top of the temple. That's what we're doing with this. And then we've got in, learn the teachings of the prophets in the Book of Mormon. Let's give it a go. Here we go. First and second books of Nephi, Jacob, Enos, Jerem, Omni, words of Mormon, and Mosiah in the Book of Mormon. Alma, Helaman, third, fourth, Nephi, Mormon, Ether, and Moroni. Learn the teachings of the prophets in the Book of Mormon. That's it. So keep practicing with your family. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you again. Keep on singing. See you later, alligators. <laughs>